Hey there, everybody. My name is Valerie Bushline, and this is Finding Hope Along the Journey, a caregiver's perspective to managing life, chaos, and everything in between. Um, if you're new to becoming uh, a family caregiver, uh, welcome. Uh, today is actually the two-year anniversary of my husband's accident, and uh, I thought, what better time to enter a new year in his recovery and our new life than to uh, start a podcast and start talking to people about what to expect and what to feel and well not what to feel but letting you know that what you are feeling is completely normal um and in the beginning it doesn't seem that way so a little bit about us, um, May 2nd, 2020, my husband was injured in a motor vehicle accident, a uh, motorcycle versus tractor trailer. Um, he is a paraplegic at this point. Um, he is an incomplete spinal cord injury. So that means that his cord was not severed. Um, Alternatively, that would be a complete spinal cord injury would mean there was no chance of motor return um, sensation below level of injury. So wherever that injury is in the spinal cord is where you'll see those symptoms either start or end rather. Um, my husband has worked his tail off for the last two years to uh, regain as much as he possibly can. And uh, he's doing fantastic. And uh, I think we're at a a pretty good point in um, our own path and our own timeline to kind of talk about this a little bit more um, for anybody who's new to the injury and, and spinal cord injuries happen all the time. Um, but people don't always connect until much later. Um, and so what I'd like to do is, is, you know, there's plenty of resources out there. Um, but I don't want to say there's not any for caregivers, but if you're like me, I was big time skeptical on reaching out to people that I don't know and didn't know what I was going through. And uh, it was a tough journey. There's no other way around that. This is a difficult challenge in our lives and we're working through it. And I thought maybe I could bring forth a platform to bring us together and to unite family caregivers. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're caring for a spouse, a parent, a child, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, a lot of us that are living this life as a caregiver, um, something changed quickly and we took on the role. And, uh, you know, if we don't, if we don't talk about how we're feeling, um, you know, you're really, you're really, unless you're an amazing saint of a person, um, there's feelings of sadness and anger and resentment. And, you know, even when you're a champ taking on this, it's a lot. And uh, I've spent the last, the first year was spent rather resentful and angry, mad that this had happened to us. Um, because prior to injury, my husband was you know, a hard worker, went to work every day, uh, worked for the state, I was working towards a pension. And, you know, I had a career um, and, and everything changed just in a blink of an eye, everything changed. And so that first year was difficult, not only helping him with everything he needed help with, but also managing my own care, managing our house, managing our kids, everything. Um, and if you don't talk, if you don't find somebody to listen, um, it can be a, a poisonous environment for your, your own mental health and your situation. So um, as we have entered year two, I thought that I would, you know, find a way to share this and um, maybe bring out the ugly side of things. You know, everybody talks about, you know, here's these resources and uh, all this stuff, but you know, are they really there to hear about the hard stuff and hear about how you don't want to do this? Believe me, I know. <laughs> um, you know, so 
you know, we're, that's just where I'm at. So I'm, I'm ready to share. Um, I have hopes for this uh, podcast platform, YouTube channel, whatever, um, to be able to reach as many caregivers as we can and allow people to be heard, have their voice, know that they're not alone and, and feel welcome and, and know you're not alone. Um, yeah. So, um, if you're listening or watching this and you've got resources available that you have, um, found helpful in your case, feel free to leave them in the comments or, um, you know, email. I have an email address specifically for this format and, uh, the email is hope along the journey 22 at gmail.com. So if you have ideas or resources that you want to share, please send them and we'll get them out to people who need them. Um, along with, uh, sharing resources as they come and, and things that have worked for me that might work for you. Um, we're going to use this platform to, uh, share other people's stories. And, um, I've got a list of people that are, are ready to come on and, uh, we're going to talk about what they went through and let them share their story and feel heard and have a voice. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you feel like you go to your doctor's appointments and you sit there and, you know, they either don't listen or you just feel like you're a fly on the wall you know, been there. I know that. So, um, again, this is a place where you're, you're welcome. You're welcome to share how you feel and, and know that, um, you're not alone. Okay. So, um, that's pretty much it. I, I'm, I, this isn't meant to be a long, uh, intro or anything like that. I think, um, you know, as time goes, we'll have some, some topics to share and, uh, things that may help caregivers out resources that might be available. And then just sharing stories of people who are thrust into caregiver life, um, and, uh, talk about the journey and, uh, you know, finding the way, finding your way through that journey. So um, thanks for listening. If you can hit the subscribe button for me and uh, don't miss anything, you know, we're, we're going to be putting things out. Most likely I'm looking for a weekly format. Um, but in reality, if you're listening this far, you know that caregiver life is very time consuming. So um, if you don't see it weekly, it'll, it'll definitely be biweekly. Um, and of course, you know, as time goes, we're going to, we're going to grow this. So, um, thanks for listening. I tried to get that all in one piece because editing takes time and we don't have that time. So, uh, again, finding hope along the journey and, uh, just bring in my perspective to the game. All right. Y'all take care, be safe and have a good night.